what's up guys welcome back to the channel i wanted to do a really quick video on this particular setup it's a i7 4790 and a gtx 1070 i'm not overclocking or anything like that and i'm running 16 gigabytes of ram the deal with this computer is it's the same computer that was in a previous video it's the one that i built tested and you know modified put the new cooler on it and all that well i ended up selling this pc on ebay ups body slammed the computer so it broke the tempered glass side panel okay so i sent the guy a new case because it was cheaper just to do that than to try and have it shipped back me fix it and send it back to him and on top of that if ups doesn't do the actual packing themselves they will not cover any damages lesson learned anyway sent him that new case he gets his other stuff in and he says that he doesn't have a display out okay well he takes the new panel from the new case puts it on that case and ships it back to me i give him a full refund and everything else no problem well he used united states postal service on the second go well where i say the second go when he shipped it back to me same thing happened they wrecked the pc the case was all bent up the GPU had broken loose out of the socket. There was a piece of RAM that was, or I say a piece, there was a stick of RAM that was in the bottom of the case. The case was obviously, it was bent, and the CPU fan for the cooler was off also. I mean, it was like they were extremely, extremely rough with it. So I just take it apart, and I've got it on basically a test bench right now and just testing to make sure it worked and it works perfectly fine so technically the guy never should have sent it back he could have just you know fixed it but he wasn't very savvy i could tell he seemed like maybe he was young possibly from the conversations that i had with him but regardless we have it and i wanted to do some testing and i figured that uh, i could just make a video out of it real quick now that my rambling and everything is over with we can kind of test a little bit you can see on here I'm running it's 1080p and it's the very high preset and I'm just gonna leave it at the very high preset because I want to make this quick and to change the settings on farming simulator is a pain because you have to exit out and then go back in it's 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 a nightmare but anyway just want to do some little testing this game is pretty bad at stuttering and it doesn't matter what setup what setup you use there's certain situations where it stutters a lot especially if you're like in the inside of the cab like we were a second ago i'm sure that y'all can see the little micro stutters and stuff and it doesn't matter if it's nvidia or amd it just stutters i don't know if it's the shaders loading or compiling or whatever i'm not 100 percent but this setup that we have here handles this game great. Like I said, 1080p, very high preset, plays all day long. And I mean, you can see the FPS. It doesn't really drop below 80 at all. It stays up there. Perfectly smooth experience. So if you've got a system similar to this, then for what it, if you're interested in this game, you wouldn't have any issue at all playing it whatsoever. Um, it is a pretty CPU heavy title, but it doesn't utilize it doesn't utilize the CPU very well. I guess it's this particular game engine, I'm not I'm not sure. But it seems like it definitely doesn't use all the cores because 4790 is a four core four core eight thread CPU. And I don't know why it's asking me all these questions. Anyway, it's a four core eight thread CPU and it's only what 26 percent utilization and then you can occasionally see a bottleneck with the cpu like right now you can see we're only at 93 percent 94 percent usage in all honesty you can probably run 1440p with this rig on here without an issue so but anyway i kind of wanted to show y'all this real quick farming simulator 22 was just just a game I had sitting there and I figured okay you know what I'll just test that one because I've tested other systems. So 
stuff. Now I'm going to test the new Saints Row game and see how it performs on this system. I'm going to do basically the same. I'm going to go in. We're going to go for a high preset at 1080p and we're going to have V-Sync off and motion blur off and all that kind of stuff. We'll see how it performs real quick. Daily grind. Okay. So here we are in Saints Row. You said this is the, the newest one. A lot of people don't like this game from what I understand. But I've never played them, so I don't have an opinion. Forward. Um, but, like I said, we're on a high preset. Just wanted to see how it performs. Just out of curiosity. Looks like it's dropping below 50, but I don't really notice it that much. Say below 50, below 60. I'm sure we can make some minor adjustments. Maybe even try a medium preset and it, and it worked just fine. Yeah, we could probably tweak the settings a little bit. Looks like it's doing pretty good though. This game seems like it utilizes the CPU better than like FS22 does. Marshal scum! Oh, bite! Still seems like there's a little bit of bottleneck here and there, but all in all, it's really good. Really smooth. I had someone comment on the comment on the video um, that I had made with this computer when I first built it, and they were asking about the frequency of the CPU. So I'll make sure to put it on there this time. Multinational private military corporation. I think that the CPU basically maxes at this may be a weird time to ask, but what? we get hazard pay. You three point nine for outstanding work if you survive to collect it. Got it. Yeah, three point nine gigahertz. I think is the max on it. But right now it's only what three point eight. Kill that asshole. I'm the best for a reason. Bailey, hold up. Doing really well. Yes, man. I really like this CPU. Whoa, take the turret. Like I said, it's 448 grid, it. and it's not. basically the same thing as an i3 10100F. Very, very similar low. performance. You better shoot that turret like you shoot off your mouth. Okay. Take that turret, damn it. Destroy some stuff. Good lord. Yeah, we're dropping pretty low. Why am I not hitting this guy? Very inaccurate. See? Told you I was good with these. Shut up and shoot. Drivers hit! Drop down. Bailey, Bailey, get your foot off the What's the lowest it dropped? It looked like 48 was about as low as it dropped. That's not too bad. I mean, I'd play this. Just just like this. Just the high preset. Let it go. Gwen? Doesn't Gwen, look too can you bad. hear me? Anybody? Seems good enough to me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video. I just wanted to do a quick benchmark with a couple different games that we didn't use before just to kind of show the performance of this setup you know the 4790 and the 1070 it's a really great pairing and it's still a really great setup i mean you can play pretty much any game that's out there right now maybe battlefield 2042 would have a little trouble because of the uh i think it's really cpu heavy but i'm not sure i don't have the game so i can't really benchmark it and uh i wanted to kind of tell you all the story about the computer and what all happened and the lessons learned from that. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all have a great day and goodbye.